out anytime <laughs> with anybody. Cause we got this councilman coming up in here. Let me teach y'all a little something about local government and find out what's going on in District 6. That's what we do. We interview the best guests. We might not got the, all the subscribers yet, but y'all gonna come and get with us. Cause we trying to educate people. That's what we trying to do. I'm trying to learn. You put I'm, school I'm older, but I am just so happy. I'm happy I'm home. I missed my brothers last week. They love me. They missed me too. I was surprised. All right, all right, all right. I was we surprised. We on. We on. I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I'm back. Miss I Lisa, miss y'all. Miss Lisa. What's up, B? Hi. <laughs> What's up, fam? What's up, B more? Y'all see, I'm so excited. I know. So I, I'm excited. so excited. We, I'm excited to be excited you back, Miss Lisa. I, I'm, I'm excited to be back. I missed my brothers last week. Yeah. I had some business to take care of. Right. You sure you missed us? Yeah, for real, I for did. real? I did. I really did. <laughs> I watched y'all from Las Vegas. I sure did. Yes, Vegas? Did. Wait, wait, wait. Well, they say what happens Vegas stay in Vegas, but like no, what happened? I, I mean, you wasn't, it wasn't. I wasn't that lucky, y'all. It wasn't that kind of I trip. I wasn't that lucky. I, I, was, I was trying to find one. But they was all paying the dollar blackjack. <laughs> Wait, did you did you win some money? You no, didn't do that. No, I found fifty dollars in the Denver airport though. That's a win. That's right. That's a win. And, and I, I made some money out there with Tom Shears. Well, y'all know y'all can make one hundred ninety dollars in ninety minutes. Oh yeah, I took advantage of it. Oh yes, yeah, right. Yeah, they, they did the little yeah. seminar thing. You listen to that bowl. Yeah, and you... I, mean, I ate lunch free and all that. <laughs> I sure did. They paid for my gas and my food. I'm going to tell y'all something. Don't mess with that hotel, and I don't even care. Oh, why? Oh, I didn't leave my room after 7 o'clock. Did you really? Why? Because I thought everybody was watching me. I am an older woman. Sure. You know what I mean? I ain't that. You ain't that old. I know. I ain't oh, you that don't, old. you mean look, you don't look it. Put it that way. Watching. You don't look it. I learned that from New York. <laughs> Man, because it ain't so many. It's always somebody watching. Yo, she That's by true. herself. That's she true. She goes to slot, but she hit that money. Well, you know what? Let's follow her upstairs. Y'all wasn't going to get me because I'm paranoid. Y'all already know that. I stay on my P's and Q. <laughs> Y'all would have robbed from, me and got your feelings hurt because I from New York. Yeah. Yep, you from New York, you know, you from the streets. That's it's right, it. and I act like, <laughs> and I, man, I did not come outside after dark. Right. For real. That, was, that is kind of smart, though. That is smart, especially yeah. by yourself. Yeah, you know I'm mean? by myself, people watching. Yeah, And then yeah. I'm going to go down there and pay that penny machine and get my feelings hurt for 300 pennies, knowing that's only $3? <laughs> uh, Are you serious? Was no, no, it was a business trip, and I handled that business. That's I good. told y'all like last you do week, it. Like you do I'm it. a Cheryl daughter. Some is in the know, some is in the but I am a very right. happy woman. There you go. You took care of your business. I took care of that business, sure enough. Boy, uh, you know, Halloween came early for them. <laughs> they didn't even have a, have a check. Is it a trick or is it a treat? It was a trick and a treat. And a treat. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't know about. They don't know about Miss Lisa. They don't know. They, don't, they know they, now, though. They, 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 they know now. Out. But they we, know let me now. tell y'all something, man. <laughs> Tonight we really, really is. You know, I got my little dress on, trying to look like an official reporter. <laughs> I really tried hard to look beautiful tonight. You always look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Eric. You know, I'm always fishing for a compliment. Good. Tell yeah. me how you beautiful I look. But guess what? We got councilmen. Uh, Right. Okay. Mike uh, whatever. Okay. okay. You right. It's supposed okay. to be a secret, but whatever. Well, well, I mean, we're no, not ready I for can't it. Hold nothing. Come on, I'm excited. Okay. Okay. He is coming to sit down and be more part. Okay. okay. Man, that's our first elected official. That's okay. huge. That's important. Yeah. That's that's big. That's big. That's huge. All right. That's huge. That's it's awesome. Really huge. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, no, um, we're gonna do it. We ain't got no gonna, choice. Yep. Without Dennis. But yo, we gotta shout out our engineer, man. No, feel better, Jimmy. No, we really need you yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cause now the councilman ain't gotta hear. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> he got to work through cameras. But I know he going to sneak a question in here. He yeah, we good. Do we it good. Yeah, I feel, it. Yep, feel better, Jimmy. Feel it. better, Jimmy. Uh, you know we appreciate better. you. We'll see you next week. Yes. Um, yeah, so how was, the, how was the flight? Like, um, this, how was the airport? That's the first thing. Because the airport is usually some... Uh, okay, the some, airport something. was interesting. Right. Okay, I actually ran into a group of World War... World War... Uh, world War. Two right. veterans. Right, wow. 
wow. Yes, I took some video, and, and, and the lady got mean with me and stuff, but I ain't take it personal. Cause Why, because you was filming them? Yeah, I was filming them. I respect them. Come right. on, yo. Right. They, they, they fought in, yo, with that, uh, his grandfather, yo, can, June 6th, or not, I wasn't even born. Right, like, right. Come on. I, I had to stop and, and give them some respect, right. and that's what I did. That was at BWI? That was at BWI. Yeah, I mean, that's good. And, going and flying out of Denver. I don't right. care what you say, Eric. It was UFOs following me. You saw some UFOs in Denver? I told on the airplane? you. I told you. I showed them to him. And you were going to say it. We got to put it. Yeah, we got to put it on the we chat. Put we got to put it on the yeah, yes. on And the then Insta. we see the jet coming back. I didn't even realize that the, video, the UFOs was following us. Right. Two. Right. Two UFOs? It was two. It was actually three. It was three balls. Wow. Yeah, three wow. balls, not two. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like it was three, like yeah, little three orbs. Following the airplane. All right. And it was on the, the side. It was on the top. Right. It was on the side. And then I, I got curious because like about a thousand feet away, we just I just see a jet. It's a jet. It's a straight line. It wasn't doing chemtrails because we was above the clouds. Right. The right. clouds was really dirty. Wow. I know what I saw. Wow. Y'all don't have and to you got on video. That's I mean that's 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 big right yeah, there. Yeah, I got it on video. You got it on video. Yeah, I got check the out, video. Check out Miss Lisa. I got the other video when we I ain't gonna say where they at because they took that off TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I got to not that's, believe there is other people. All right, then it's already you know. You believe when we bring the alien on the couch. Well, you know, no, and you saw it. You got video. We're gonna th we'll, we'll put the video online, folks. We, we gonna family, have to show it. We're gonna have to show them. Yeah, Miss Lisa gonna show and prove she saw three or. It was three, three orbs following us. And they was following us. They was following us. And then the clouds was dirty. That's where probably the mothership was hiding. Right, right. Yeah, Close that's where they stuff. hide at in the clouds. Don't you know that? That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. And you and you were feeling. You could feel. I felt, you I felt the energy. In the video, you felt the energy. Yo, something ain't right. I feel strange. I feel strange. Yes, it is a video, and you can hear me in the video. Yo, something ain't right. But I did not see it till I went back and watched the videos because I made the videos for my grandson. He loves planes. Right. And I was right. talking to him, and I didn't even realize it. But I got it on film, y'all. Call me crazy all you want. No, I mean I believe you got. Don't feel Anika said put that stuff on put it on a video. We should have put it up there. We're gonna post it. Anika's yes, I post it. We don't, I we're do gonna do it. Them. I really do. Yep. I have two. We'll put them up there. Okay. We'll I got to post there. it. And I did not see it to two days ago when I went back to look at the videos that I was gonna keep. And I was like, oh snap. They was orange. Okay. Right. They came together. Then the third one came over the plane. Then we had them flying over the plane. But well, see, from living where I used to live in Middle River next to Martin Airport, you know all the jets come out right, of here. Right. Oh my God. Yeah, I became, next to the airport, oh yeah. my God, I want to go to an air show. I really do. They They're beautiful, that. yeah. Yeah, man. Oh my God. They just had the planes, the F 15s, the A1s, the right. F 18. The only thing I never seen was the Unabomber. Do you know I oh, saw yeah. the president's plane? The vice really? president? Yeah. Air Force Mike, One and Two Mike or whatever. Pence, Mike Pence landed in Martin Airport. Yeah. Plus, I saw the Sonic Boom planes, you know, the ones like the French Concorde that says boom, 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 boom. Right. I mean, living over So you there, know your airplanes, yeah. So I, I that's some real stuff. You know your planes. I All didn't right. like it. I didn't yep. like it before I moved over there and I had no choice. Right. I was just hoping nobody uh, had to check out and, and the, the plane hit my house. <laughs> <You> <laughs> that's know, cool. That. So that was never. So <laughs> go and you saw the, uh, you saw the UFOs and then and that's that's Denver. That was going over. Uh, I was going. I was on my way. I was right. going over Denver. Right. That's right. And y'all already know. Wait a minute. Hey, Miss Lisa. Hi, Donna. Mr. Nick. I'm sorry. Um, we saw. Mr. We talked. We talked. Protecting folks. you and the people on the play. That's all. Right. It was escort. They were giving you escort. Donna said they're giving you escort. Man, <laughs> that's I what it was. Disappear. They was helping you. All right. I moved to Middle River three years ago from Jersey City. Emily Slate. There so you, go. you see all the planes right <laughs> yo you can sit there and get a real show when they come out yo it's serious right, like, right. Uh, i, I love wanna, airplanes too that's I, awesome I didn't. right 
You didn't like him then. I didn't like. Why would I like a war play? I mean, it's just right. So then, but so then now it's it's, it's all coming together because you saw the vets and then the UFOs. Maybe that's some stuff tied together too. And I was Ooh, at the dinner at Everport, and yep. you know yep. about the they talk the, about the tunnels and the paintings showing the the uh, apocalypse. They got the horse. Hey, Miss Lisa. We met outside the doctor's office. Okay. All right. Hi, darling. How you doing? <laughs> That's when I went and took that teenager. Yeah. I met you. Thank you for watching. Hey, Kimberly. Oh, hi, Kimberly. Welcome. Great, we great. sitting up here waiting for your councilman. you district six. His name is Councilman Mike Urkel, and he really seems to care for the neighborhood, and he's open for questions, and we're going to learn about him. And we're going to learn about, you know, what local government do and understand where we play our part at. Right, Because right. these elections coming up is, is very important. You know, for some it's, for, for some of us, it's life and death. Right. It's important. Yeah, that's, that's important stuff. That's, that's, what's run, that's what runs the world. So, yeah. um, um, and people in charge, the people we, we vote for, people we put in, like they control some of the stuff we do. So that's important. We need local to know government. Yep. and understand which each person's job is. Right. And hopefully, on Be More Part, this is my goal, because I love politics. You know, I can really go left right now. You know, right, We're not going to go there. We're going we gonna to wait on that. But they kicked them out. Come on, man. <clears throat> we're not going to do all that. We're going to relax. Look, we're going to relax. We're not going I on there. I supporting our people, and yep. thank you for supporting us. Right. And Appreciate you, Kim. Me, I, Appreciate I hope you, Kim, you watch some of the back shows and see how much we've grown. Right, yep. I still talk over people, though, but I don't be being it. They be telling me I be doing that, but I don't right. need it. They know I be excited and Shit. Yeah, really appreciate you, Kim. Appreciate you, Kim. Yes, really. Like, you sub subscribe, um, share. Um, you know what I mean? We, 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 thanks for the support. We really it's appreciate the lady, you. lady. I'm going to yep. tell you who it is. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to remember you. You are the lady with the dreads. You had glasses on, had the hat. Real Afrocentric, real beautiful sister. Are you that lady? <laughs> Because you was very, I, I came back to ask her to come watch her. Right, right. Yeah, I, so you, I have a feeling it's her. <laughs> I want y'all to have a talk about the little signal that went off on all the, oh, girl. We, we, we ain't even monetized yet. You trying to get us thrown off already. They changed the rule. But let me finish reading the question that Miss Kimberly wants to speak on. And yes, when it, Dennis give me my own show, I have no right, problem. Right, exactly. We, we, we love suggestions. That That's a good topic. We that can talk about that. That is an excellent yep. topic. But yep. I'm going to read it for we those know. who can't right. see it. Miss Kimberly Slay says, I want y'all to talk about the little signal that went off on all the phones the other day and that fact that Russia did the test signal and did and so did China on the same day. I'm just saying, and you absolutely right. They had them in Russia practicing how to put on gas masks. Right, right. So we, yeah. So that's something we can talk about. We gonna research it and do Don't a show on it. We can do, yeah. We can, we can do a show that. on it. So um, that was very uncomfortable. Right. You know, it made me feel like, Lord, like, like with everything going on, we need to prepare ourselves. Like, I feel like we need to prepare ourselves. Right. You know, and it, it, it's just, a, this is a real difficult time. I do not want to give my personal opinion. I think that this is not the appropriate place or time to do it. Right. But I know this. Shit you gonna do it up. anyway. You don't want to do it, but you about to do it anyway. Well, shit fucked up. Yeah, it's, like, it's always difficult. Like, it's really but you stay up educated, like you said. Stay get, like that's what we're doing today. Stay educated. We're gonna bring the people, talk to the people, get the views, the people who who are you know running the government or, or who we elect, all that who kind of we stuff. Elect, we who, need who to know. we elect, right? We you and know what, what mean? job do they do? Yeah, because this um, right for me. It's this about is, education. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm getting this is a lesson. Right. Because I don't you understand know. what's the difference between a delegate, a councilman. A congressman, right. Senate, you know, the different, right. I understand the parts of it, but exactly, I want to know, and hopefully he will explain it to y'all, exactly right. what he do. But he's definitely, I'm trying, she says, excuse me. I know, you jump, you jump, you, I know, <laughs> I, I'm you're trying not to, even finish your statement, you jump, go ahead. Let me just finish the statement. Go ahead, right. I, uh, I forgot. 
<laughs> we need to know what they do. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Donna. Go ahead and write what Donna says. Go so Donna. <laughs> Donna said Donna, Donna turned off all her devices and put them in the basement. All right, that's one way to go. No, um, yo, she, she turned it all off and put them in the basement. Yeah, you got you know you got to know yeah, you, you got to you got to be aware. Coming. Right, so we can't we can't hide. You just you know information is power. Knowledge is power. That's that's kind of what we do here too on the show. You know, I mean, you can't just go go in the bunker. You got to know what's happening. Say so hey, keep your third eye open. Exactly. Right? Knowledge is key. Knowledge is knowledge is important. That's what we try to do here. Bring different people, different views. Our, our opinion. That's what it's called. That's different it. views, different opinions, and uh, you know what I mean. We. Uh, uh, I love Miss Kimberly. Yeah. I, I, I know who you are. Human has have the vibrations we operate on. Yeah. And you know, I've spoke on that. Sound matters. Yeah. It's all and it's inside of us. Like you said, humans. It's inside of us. Each each and every one of us got. Got different, got different ones. It depends on what you tune into, and you know how positive or negative. Well, if you tune negative. into the positive, the high side, the low side. You know what I mean? I want to um, stay um, away from people with low vibrations. There you go. They exactly. Me, they, they make me depressed. Yep. There they you really go. do. <laughs> exactly. Okay. She says, Kimberly Slay. She says again, vibrations, vibrations. So I turn my device off. Also because you won't have my me doing some crazy sh- and Sugar honey, I see. I'm trying not to curse, man. I'm trying. Right. Right. But, yeah, uh, don't get Miss Lisa cursing on here, Kimberly. I, 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 don't I get forget, her going. I forget the camera on. Mm-hmm. Um, crazy sugar honey, I see because you be buzzing in my ear. You know what? Right. Got a point. Yeah, Sound, I mean that's that's one way to right? go. Yep, that's one way to go. But yeah, definitely vibrations are important. Um, we just try to keep it positive and try to keep keep on the high side of it. That's um, all we can do. That's, that's all we can do. Um, keep your third eye open, like they say, and we're good. Maybe Adio, Adio we'll be Curry. the generation that sees it. Right, right. That's you know, pretty good. Because this has been uh, conspiracies and. Uh, uh, um, knowledge, uh, you know, a lot of things that we understand that we understand now. Right. But what are right. we going to do with this information? That's what I want to know. Right. Well, yeah, we got to get it first and then we, um, like we you know, that, that's what this chat is about too. We talk among ourselves, figure it out, give diff- different points of views on it and then we, we move. We, you know, we get together, we move, support each other. Like, like Kimberly said, support each other. Um, talk about it. You got to talk about it. You know what I mean? Teach one, each one, teach one, and then we move. I just wish everybody was just on the same page. We have constructs, right. you know, and I, it makes me sick to my stomach. Right. It really right. does, because I don't see black. I don't see white. I don't see Spanish. I don't see Italian. I don't see that. I see the human being. I He's the spirit. Right. That's what moves me. Right, that's Kim, Kimberly says. Yeah, humans. Yep, it's, it's we humans. human beings. We have vibrations. Yep, we um, human beings. But a lot um, of people don't feel very human these days because it's hard for a lot of people. You know, it's a lot going on. You know, food and single mothers is having a real hard right time right now, right. and people doing this crazy stuff. Right. Look, only thing we can do is just pray for the best. Yeah. And uh, and somebody, um, Anita Fraser, Anika Fraser said, planning for the move to the country in app to the country in Africa. She wants to go back to Africa. There you go, Anika. Well, what country do you think about, Anika? Which one? West Africa or or, or East or North? like what part of Africa what part? first? And what country? And yeah. I'm practicing my system. Good to see you, Miss Lisa, Miss Donna. It's good to see you. And I'm sitting up. You didn't even know. Is that, I got my little dress on today. You look a little professional today. I'm proud of myself. You always look good, Miss Lisa. You always look good. I'm a, see, be, see, I be fishing for compliments. Nah, yeah, you don't need to fish. But yeah, we know. We, we, we you don't need to fish. We, we, we know. We're good. And, and um, so, I'm so excited when this man walk in the door. I am just, I'm just so excited that he agreed to come to be more part. She said Kenya. Good job, Kenya. Kenya is a beautiful country. Yep, East Africa. Kenya is good. Uh, the Congo. Yeah. Yeah. No. What's your What's your favorite uh, country, Miss Lisa? Where you want to go? The Congo. That's where you want to go. The Congo, Rwanda. Got to do some traveling first over there. Okay, Rwanda. That's a beautiful country too. Right. Africa is. But did you know the right. continent was splitting in half? What do you mean? 
It's literally splitting in half. What continent? Africa splitting in half? Yes, it's a big crack that has been getting bigger <laughs> and bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't hear that. And also, it's a swamp over there. They say it got dinosaurs in there. Oh, thank you, Miss Donna. I thank mean, you. you. Just... I, I, tr I really tried. I, I really tried today. Right. Yes, I, got... I took my time with my little makeup and stuff and trying to look all cute and everything. You know, I, I need yep. I, I need, I need me a makeup artist to make me look like I'm 38. There you go. You already look 38. Oh, thank you. Uh, you see, I'm getting all the comments. See, you exactly. put it out there. I mean, you get it's the all comment. the look. Right, right. But the comments. So, what's the swamp? Yeah, talk about the swamp. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. They say it's a swamp right. in Africa that they believe because it's only been 5%. Explored, and I forgot what they said, what it was, but they said it's dinosaurs. People don't realize how big. Africa you know, my is. folks from Africa, Miss Lisa. So I don't know. Really? I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. You know, shout the out to United, LIB. Listen, but, um, but, uh, Libya, okay. No, Liberia. Liberia. Yeah. The yeah. They, had, they just had an election too. They had an election. They did. Yeah. They first re-elect. I mean, they democratic elections. Yeah. Yep. That they was had the first one. Not, yes, yeah. There was, okay. Go ahead. I, I know where you're going. No, I know where you're going with that. The first country. Go ahead. Say say the stats. Say the stats. Shout out to LIB. Say the stats. The stats. The, the first free Americans, uh, free slave country. That was the first country. Independent country. Independent yep. country in, that in Africa. was risen from uh, slaves. Yep. Yep. Um, that's, yeah. Good history. Liberia, West Africa. Check it out. See knowledge. We we, we shared know. knowledge. We shared we shared knowledge. I didn't know he was from Liberia. I, didn't I mean, know that. I got folks. I mean, it's a lot of stuff you I don't know, Miss Lisa. It's okay. it's okay. I, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't know he was a tall glass of chocolate. But no, damn, it's okay. I mean, we learning it's stuff. It's a lot of stuff here. we don't know. Um, yeah, we're learning. That's we're, why we're you learning. got we're good tea. <laughs> oh my God, not sure. Yeah, that's why you got good tea. You oh, eat that good ass food. Yep. Oh, let's talk about the sponsors, Miss Lisa. Let's let's go to our sponsors real quick. Yes, we ain't made talk about our sponsors right. Now, yep. um, who that miss with Norma? Uh, it's Norma D. Norma D. Treasures. Norma D. Treasures. Right. And please go on eBay. She has a thousand. Right. She has a thousand. And you know what? Look, Norma D. Let's do Norma D. Do we, I'm uh, doing yeah, Norma him go D. On. I forgot. Okay, you forgot, Dale. I forgot. <laughs> listen, listen. Norma we get D. The treasures. Okay. Yep. We wait. No signal D. The signal. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We ain't go ready ahead. yet. Norma D. Are we ready? Norma D. With the Norma D. Treasures. No, we are ready. Oh, now I can Norma. do it. See, I'm just learning cues. Okay. We would like y'all to go over to Norma D. Treasures on eBay to check. Check out the variety of things that she has. The 10% discount do stay. Now, it stays, okay, especially for the holidays. Go over there, check it out. Prices is good. You know what I mean? Yo, give us some love so I can get a free outfit or something, for real. Yes. So are we ready? Oh, I still need. We're we going to be ready. He, he we gonna told me we're going to be ready. Look, I don't we, know if y'all ready for this. We're going to be ready. I don't think y'all ready for this. We're gonna be ready. Oh, y'all ain't ready for this one. <laughs> see, so, what you talking about? Who are you talking about? Norma D's? I, 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 got, I, got, I got dressed up now you, for y'all. You, you got to talk. You, you, wait, Norma D's. You finished with Norma D's? I'm finished with Norma D's. We need some more sponsors, too. Norma D's, that's a good that's sponsor. That's it. We need a new sponsor. Right. Right? Y'all right? keep liking, sharing, subscribing. What we got? We got like three, uh, almost 400. We up to 400 subscribers now. That's 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 pretty oh, good, Miss Lisa. Oh, Thank you for every last that's, one. That's Miss Kim. And you know what, Miss Kimberly? Slade, right. we actually are spiritual, you're absolutely right, we are actual spiritual beings trying to have a human experience, and therein lies most of the conflict. All right, Kimberly, yep. And I agree with that, but um, right now. Yep, yep, right now. You ready? Right now, yeah, you're ready? You're ready you for ready? us? All right, all right. Oh, I, don't, I don't think they're ready. I, no, I don't think they're ready, but they're ready, they're ready. Go ahead. Ready? So, introducing... I think <laughs> the one and only Councilman Mike Urkel. Please, please come take a seat. To come take a seat. He really came. He really yes. I told you he was going to come. I thought he wasn't going to come. I told you when I met him in Overly, he had a heart. 
how are you? I'm good, and Thank I didn't. I didn't so even dress much. up for you, even though you. That's all right. Up. I all dressed right. up for you. That's all right. right. You earned that respect just coming and giving us a chance we to just, come and talk to us. We really appreciate. We, she's, been, I, she's been going crazy all week, man. Yes, I, you know what I mean? She's been losing go, her mind. The compliments yes. coming. <laughs> she, you know, yes, that's she's right. She's been losing her mind. What you? What did you do to her? Like, what did you tell her? What did you? I you know, know. Mean? He, he was very excited. He, when he she very love. Oh, thank you, thank you. Right. No. I told you on that show that after, you know, that show, three hours, me and my teenager got into it. I still (laughs) make the show. I'm just telling you. I told you. I felt his heart. Right, I right. said that okay. he was, I felt right, that he was right, right, you. right, right, okay. I, I felt your heart, and right. I really felt that you were sincere. That's beautiful. And you're That's a man great. of your word. Yeah, she was excited about, you know. You're a man of your word. It's yes, crazy when people have, you know, perceptions. No, I like felt Like when you first meet somebody, you right. know. Yep. So now I have That's cool. I appreciate that. Yep, yep, definitely. I'm going to ask you just one question. I feel like I'm Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> you see that's the energy you putting out? That's a compliment. You see, the, you see, the, <laughs> you see the energy you putting out, Miss Lisa? Okay. No, nah, we're near, we're good. No, th- this is this is a serious, respectable thing. We don't do. We're not doing higher stern, higher stern here. <laughs> we're trying not so to. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Your question. No, I just wanted to ask you a question. What was your first impression of me? I thought you were high energy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not Miss Lisa. Not Miss Lisa. No, you're Not Ms. very, Lisa. very personable, but you know, right. high energy. Good. Yep. Yep. Like, uh, yep. We, we try. We try to get her to breathe, and 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 you know what I mean. We we working on it, but you know, <laughs> we you love her. We love her still. You you're, from, you're from New York, right? Yes, born and raised. That's right. Uh, no, don't yeah. get her tired on my New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging out with me more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I actually, um, my parents when I was, I started school here, or we lived in a uh, rented a house. Hamilton. Right. No, right here, right down the street. Right down Bel Air Edison. Bel Air Edison. Okay. Really? I went you lived to, that close? I yep. went to Brems Lane Elementary right down the road here. Wow. And, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing, yeah. I knew you was middle class, but I didn't know you was that close. You grew up in the hood, for real? It wasn't. Well, it wasn't it, as it, much it, it now. was different. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I was a New Yorker. All right, exactly. well, don't kept, be calling our place a hood. Clifton Park. Yeah, don't be calling more of the hood down. Yeah, don't be calling uh, our place hood, Miss Lisa. Go, go back to New York and, and leave us alone. But I, I grew up in the city, so mm. I um, had, you know, um, it, it was a great life in the right. city. Right. And, and, you know, um, it was racially diverse. I had a lot of, you know, white and black friends. Right. Um, you know, we all kind of grew up together in different parts of the city. Right. Um, I went to Poly in the city, which is a, a citywide school. Right. So it's if you're from here, you know that, but right. she might not. Oh, yeah. no, yeah, no, po- in the city, there's like Poly, technical, po- right. Poly City. Right. Uh, Western High is the only... Um, still the only girls only public high school in the country. Right. I believe. Western? Western, Western High, high School. Western really? High. Right. right. I know about Polytech. I know that's yeah, the Poly one. Poly and Western talking. are right next to each other. They, they're they kind of connected, but they're two separate schools. Yeah, I know the top students go to Poly. I had a goddaughter that went there 10 years ago. Yeah, cities, cities a great high school as well. We, we you know, we're our tribals. Poly and City. Right, right. Wow. So I see that you just a regular guy. I'm a regular guy. I grew grew up here in the city, moved to the county when I was uh, 23 and mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I always feel like I'm a city boy at heart, but I love ba- Baltimore County is a great place. And Baltimore County and Baltimore City are really intertwined anyway. Yeah. Like a right, lot of right. our, um, you know, you, you have family in the city and in the right, county. Right. And, um, it's funny because a lot of us in Baltimore County government are city people. You right, know, we, right, We right. grew up in the city. We've lived in the county. Right. Our, our police chief, mm-hmm. um, Rob McCullough, went, is a city grad. He graduated the same year mm-hmm. that I graduated from Poly. That's the first so we have We kind of have that rivalry. He's right. the first uh, black uh, police chief that we've had in Baltimore County history. And, right. and the cool thing about Rob is he, he, he started as a like a 21 Jump Street type officer oh, really? embedded in a high school, in a high looking, school right? looking for drug mm-hmm. sales, right. rose up through the ranks, and, you know, now 35 years later is the chief. 
and as he said he he couldn't you know he'd never it wasn't that he didn't think he could do it he just never really thought about being the chief he's like you know if you would have told me when i was a patrol officer that i'd be the chief one day yeah, and that's all. unbelievable. Yeah, and, and again, that's that's, that's what we do on this show. Yeah, exactly. That's what we do on no, the show, I'm man. Still Your still goals, but some of, but yeah. some, of, but some of that might, be, you know, he came in in the '80s, and you know, I think we like to think we were, I don't know, more racially harmonious, harmonious in the '80s. Maybe we weren't. You know, I think we was. I felt like we were. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I think but, we were. But you know, I think even then, in the '80s, you know, there we think of all the things that's happened since the 80s we've had a you know not to get into to, ra- to ra- <laughs> racial issues that much but we've had a black president right. you know we right. we you know a, a, a lot of people have been the first african-american right. whatever it is mm-hmm. in the, you know since yeah. since the 80s or you know it was probably happening through the 70s and well, all. But, I, but you know just a lot more a lot of progress yeah there's progress obviously you know i mean like say we can always do better but pro- we gotta acknowledge the I progress think we're sure. really even better okay. in the 70s to be honest i think we was just getting to come together to be honest and then crack that just didn't destroy black neighborhood that destroyed all neighborhoods that destroyed families who was rich poor black white muslim whatever that's what i think happened to the 80s oh yeah and i think i think in baltimore in particular it was a it was kind of a a double punch um a lot of it baltimore is a working class yes yes it is so again white black uh, Asian, whatever you right, want, you know, right. especially back right. in, you know, years ago, everybody came here to get a job in industry. So like Bethlehem Steel used right. to be one of the biggest employers. That's the one right. in Dundalk, not right. Dundalk, Dundalk. Uh, in, in Sparrows Point. Yeah, Sparrows Point, right. where yeah. Trade Point Atlantic right. is now. The port city, so it's kind of, yeah, yeah. And, and, the, right. and, and, you know, people worked at the port yep. as well. There was right. a GM plant here. They built, um, right. they built actually, um, those minivans. I think the Monte Carlo in the 70s was Where, right here. Where's this? I don't know about that. Where, well, you're in New York. Uh, on Browning you, Browning you're, Highway. You're in New York. You, you know so, what we're doing up here. Right. So a lot of people, as, as that industry started to go down, right. there were a lot of men in particular, and I would say black men uh, and, and white men for that right. matter, but I think there were a lot of black men who were proud dads who were able to raise a family, right. buy cars, do everything they wanted to live the American dream, really, off a salary from a Sparrow's Point mm-hmm. or a GM. Right. And when a lot of that came crashing down, you had a lot of middle-aged men who got punched in the stomach, like, hit the road, mister. Right. And yeah. what are you, yeah. you going to do if you've been working at a factory for years doing the same thing? Yeah. Either yeah. you retooled and figured. Right. And I think crack hit at around the same time or, or, you know, closely thereafter. And it decimated a lot of black right. communities in right. particular. I mean, you look back on some of the um, neighborhoods and how proud they were. And now they're just you know, destroyed. It's, right. it's horrible. Right. right. Yeah, and it happens in a couple of cities. I mean, we go across the U.S. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, it, that yeah it's not a, just Baltimore. Across, across, yeah, it's it's across happened across the, cities, the whole you know, country. Right, uh, across the whole country. But Baltimore was one of the places right. that got hit pretty hard. And by, it was heroin, too. Mm, yep. That makes sense, and, yeah. Y'all got the double whammy. I didn't really deal with heroin in New York. I mean, it right. was there. I mean, in Harlem, right. but in, in Queens, in the suburbs, it was just crack. But one of your stances that you, I want to speak about that we talked about in the park that you you the poverty rate in Baltimore County and you don't like the way it's going like people are losing their jobs and their homes and you want to find out what could be done to stop people from losing their homes would you like to speak about that yes yeah, so um one of the things that you know, like I said, growing up in the city and now living in the county for 30 some years, right. um, kind of watched as the as the county has become poorer. 
Right. You know? And we've had a and remember we've had a lot of flight out of the count out of the city into the county. Right. Um, so some of the and, and again not not everybody who left the city was poor. Right. But we right. have a lot more um, poverty. Right. We also have a lot of people that um, again because we don't in the you know years ago when we had more of an industry here in this area right. that had good paying jobs, you could, you know, if you weren't really an academic in, a, in school, right. you might be able to skate through, at least get your diploma, but you right. know, you, you weren't necessarily gonna go on to college or become a doctor. But a lot of people either were very technical right. already. Right. You they had just, skills, right. They just you didn't like academics. And, yeah. right. You know, right. they liked yeah. working on cars right. or whatever it was they did. Right. Um, but you know they they were able to get a decent job right whereas now a lot of the job choices if you don't have you know some kind of post-secondary you know after high school or it's really hard to get a good job yeah, I, right out of high school. Yeah. Right. IT, right. Doctor, yeah. you, you right. gotta go do some training whether right. that's at a community college or a four-year four institution year thing, or yeah. a trade school right um, and there's plenty of jobs if you can get through that, but often people that are already in poverty who don't have any support systems right. often, right? I'm not saying they don't have any, but a lot of times they don't, don't know about it. If you don't know about it, you can't take advantage of it. Right. And right. I, now, yeah. uh, you know. just as an example, I was, um, not to get off the subject here, but I was a, a trustee at CCBC, our, our community now, college. Right there. Right. And, um, one of the thing we had a program where we followed um, our most vulnerable uh, students, mm -hmm. and they tended to be younger males, and it was predominantly black males, but it was white males too, and um, some Hispanic males that we had. Mm -hmm. But basically, the thought process was we need to we need to check in on these guys and make sure that they're coming to class and right. and. Able to pay their tuition. Well, and just just and just supporting check it out them, them. supporting you know, exactly. having support. like a yeah. support group, and you know, hanging out with them just to get them up to speed on you know how you do and right. you, did you right. need tutoring. You gave a whatever. damn. Yeah, you gave a damn. Right. But it went further than that, where they would check on their um, uh, attendance as well. Right. So you know that they might find out you haven't been in class for three days straight right you know and they call you yeah what's up what's hey, happening hey, hey tony where right. are you um well my you know i drive my grandfather's car to school um i blew the tire out the other night when i was driving home from you know being out with my buddies right i blew the tire my grandfather doesn't get his check till the first of the month so we can't afford it you know right got, got no way to get to, I, to get to know, spares already you know, Ain't no or something, or whatever. Right. Right. So they're right. and you know, so the grand, you know, the grandfather's living on a fixed income. Right. Maybe this is the grandson. You know, obviously, the grandson living with him, but that's his support system. And if right. grandpa can't help at that moment, right. You know, he's like, well, you know, I'll be back when, as soon as I get the tire fix. Well, Tony, you're going to miss two weeks of school right, exactly. before the first of the month. Right. By the time you get back, right. like you're. You're behind the eight ball. It's going to snowball. Yeah, it's a snowball. And, and so, right. we, so we were able to help support like wow. that and say, Tony, That's don't amazing. worry about it. We'll get you, uh, we'll get right. you a tire. Right. You know, right. we buy the a fill, used yeah, tire. Fill in, right. And yeah. then he can get to school. Right. right. And now he can get to school. Right. Yep. yep. So I want to ask you a question. But so that, so that's part, you know, there's a whole lot of like a ball of wax here when you're talking about poverty and go ahead. Right. You right. want right. to talk, you, you, we talking about education and, and you're serious, but that's one of your three E's. Don't you think high schools should be starting with that technical training? Cause everybody ain't gonna go to college. Everybody Absolutely. can't pass that SAT, but if they started in high school, maybe like take a text, like back in the 50s, right. they used to have you take tests. 
to see what your academics was, or you could be a doctor, or, right. or you going here. But I think that is really needed now in, in right. high kind of, school. Kind of your aptitude, right? right. right. Yeah. What you might yeah. be better at, yeah. right? Instead of going in the direction of what other people are telling you. But if a lot of them trades we taught in high school. Yeah. So shop, um, like we used to have shop back in the day. Yeah. Yep. Well, and in in the city, <clears throat> we had. So I went to. I told you I went to Poly. Poly mm -hmm. was more of an engineering school, but we learned a lot of. Like we had guy, we had guys and girls. I don't mm -hmm. want to say guys. I always right. Well, we know. We know what you mean. Sex, we know right? what you mean. Um, but we had we had students who left Poly when or graduated. And right. went right to work as surveyors or they went into one of the trades right. because they already had kind of a technical background. Um, the uh, Brandon Scott, the mayor, went to Mervo, went to Mergenthal uh, yeah. High School. Mervo was was truly a technical school in that they taught auto mechanics. They taught um, hydraulics. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of wow. things that they taught in high school. I met I've met people that from Mervo who left when they graduated from high school, went right to work with um, the telephone company or BGE, wow. where they were working on trucks because right. they learned hydraulics right. in high school mm -hmm. and were yeah. able to get a job and high paying jobs. High paying jobs, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And even today, uh, you know, the trades always, anything that people do working with their hands is kind of, you know, right. it gets crapped on. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm an IBW uh, electrician, so yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I can, I can, we, we talk, we well, support and you're, them. You're, we you're even, them. you're kind of the king, of, you know, well, because electricians, well, you know, electricians and, and <laughs> exactly. HVAC are right. like higher exactly. up Exactly. Yeah. 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 We're, we're pretty up there, but no, it's important, right? I mean, you can make a good living and, and, you know, benefits and insurance and those kind of things are important. Absolutely. Um, definitely. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. And we need more of it we because need more of it. Right. we have less and less younger people going into those right. things. Right. And, you know, I know I have clients who um, more skilled trades, right. electricians, HVAC, right. um, different things like that. Yeah, elevator stuff. And I mean, yeah. elevators. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, all kinds of things that are more technical. And a right. lot of them have guys working for them where they're trying to keep them there. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, know, it's hard. You, you, I know you're 68, but can you right. stay like another year? Because we can't, they're trying, they're having a hard time finding a 30 year old right. that they can train right. who wants to, but the reality is these guys make a ton of money. Yeah. Uh, and they all, they yeah, often make living. side money on, you know, cash doing jobs. Yeah. So yeah. is you willing to put this information out? Cause I know my son, he don't want to go to college. He want to do HVAC. He want to mm -hmm. do plumbing and yeah. he want to be a master uh, um, you, uh, electrician. Right. He really, he really doesn't. He plays the ball. My son is a power and, for, and, for and Kenwood. Is, it, and they don't teach you he He's at Kenwood. Yeah, he's at Kenwood. Okay. Um, because the, I mean, the good news is we have all those type programs at CCBC. So you can do anything you want out yeah. of CCBC. And a lot of them have, um, we have partnerships with some of the unions right. too. Right. Where yeah. No. We're able to feed the unions. Hey, we've got these, we've got these young people that, right. um, or to, and, and, the, and the unions actually come to CCPC. Right, exactly. You, the union, hey, you you to rec recruit, we, exactly, because we, we need people. We have a mechanics program at CCBC where the dealerships show up and they literally are some of the guys that they and girls, right. women right. as well, because they're, and then we have women in the mechanics programs. Right. Um, the, these dealerships want to pay a signing bonus to get. Man, District 6, do y'all hear this? Right, right. Do y'all hear this? Do you hear what he coming and he's telling us? He's telling us it's there. Right. Yo, y'all got to start somewhere. And he's telling you, go to CCBC. Right. They got all those programs. And I'm pretty sure there's ways, there's grants that they don't have to worry about taking out loans well, and if, stuff, right? If they're county resident, and I think he, I think if they're a Maryland resident, <gasps> community college is free. Is free. Right. Yep. Free. Yep. For most people. Right. Unless, you know, unless your parents make. You know, uh, oh, well, eight hundred okay, grand a year, and, right, and guess right. what? If your parents are making that much, they'll pay for it. They it's still right. pay for it. Right, this right. is information. It's, this is what be po be more part is about. Right. In We're the community not here family. for the likes and the foolishness. We here to right. give you information. Right. I ain't just told y'all. He didn't just sit here and told y'all. It's a way. Right. Make right. your way. 
And I'm going to definitely be posting about this. Exactly. We're going okay? to put we it gonna in We're going to definitely be posting about this. And I will definitely be speaking to my son tonight. Right. I mean, thank you for coming to give this information. And we right. can help if you, if, you need, if you need me to, you know, personally kind of connect him with someone. Y'all better be nice to me. Y'all better be nice to me. <laughs> I know, no. Don't tell her. Y'all better be nice to me. I, I just heard him. Right. You know I got to be my little silly self. That I'm just who I am. But y'all be high nice High energy. To me. We'll say hi. We'll just say high you energy. Know. We won't call me, it. Not right. you. High energy. Anyway. Yeah, that's it, right. So we talked about the three E's. Um, no, we ain't we, we, tell you a little bit yeah, about we, what? we said three E's. We started we start with education. Um, let's tell the people what the three E's are about. Are about. Um, you know, um, so the environment, right, right. And so enhanced parks, right. and recreations, right. I don't, yeah, we got from the choir, right? So the three, we gonna tell people what the three E's. About. So you that's the platform. That one, that's that's kind of your platform. Well, that was it's the sort platform of when, when I ran. When you ran, right? That's um, what. Um, right. Tell us a little bit more about the three E's. Wait, wait. I want to tell one more thing about his platform. He's going to talk about his platform. I just want to say okay, go ahead. his very first slogan, because I, I thought it was really cool. Okay. All right. East side, west side. Mike is on your side. I was like, oh, yo, that good. was hot. That was hot. <laughs> right. She did, the, she did the deep dive. She went to the deep dive. Right. Mike's on your side. Okay. I was like, All right. I don't need my nose. I was right. like, yo, that was a real cool slogan. <laughs> right. Right. And what matters to me, matters to you, matters to Mike. That, he came up with another one. I thought I just to share that with y'all. Okay, let's go. All right. All right. Three E's. All right. So, so when I ran, so I, right. you know, I'm one of the newest council people in Baltimore County, and I'll, right. I guess I'll talk about, right. you mm -hmm. know, how that all works, and, mm -hmm. and um, but so you, when you run for office, really the to be successful to win political office and a lot of it's this is really simple, but a lot of right. people don't necessarily understand this. You literally have to go. Knock on knock doors, doors. Yep. and talk to people. You know, some people say that they go door knocking and they put literature on somebody's door. Well, most people yeah, yeah, throw it away. It's, it's trash. Right and out, you know. right. Right. Uh, so, I mean, some people might read it, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to vote for you. You right. didn't make any personal connection. Exactly. But, you know, we, we would knock on doors. But along with that now, mm -hmm. you know, everybody has a website, so you're putting up your platform on a, on a website. Right. You know, not that they didn't do that before on paper, right. but now you, you really expect it to kind of lay out a bunch of your – your thoughts. Your thoughts, you know, exactly. What, what, are you, what value are you going to add if we elect you? Right. 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 So one of the things I saw, and I know we, I skipped a little bit around on this um, when you asked me the last question about, about poverty, but one of the things that we've seen in the county is we've got more poverty than we've ever had before. Mm -hmm. um, th there is a statistic that about 40% of Baltimore County is has experienced some symptom of, of poverty in the last three years. Right. You know, some of that's because of COVID, but right. that's that's a lot of people. Forty yeah, percent yeah. of the population, is a lot. Yep. right? So we we've seen more poverty. We've seen more schools that are not performing as well. Right. Right. Um, and I I saw that here in the city where if you went to certain high schools, it was really tough to get out of poverty. Yeah. Whereas if you went to one of the better schools, like a, a Poly, a, a Western, mm -hmm. even Mervo, where you had some technical training, you could come out and, and do some things. So education's a big pillar. Right. So my, my three E's were three E's. Right. Um, environment where the other thing we've seen in the county is the counties, a lot of the neighborhoods in the county are almost as old as neighborhoods in the outer city so this like bel air edison was built in the 30s 30s yeah 30s well, there were a lot of neighborhoods right. you know three miles up the road in the county that were built in the 30s as right. well so they right. were settling all these areas around right. the same you know they were especially after world war ii they just the ex construction exploded because right. of all these yeah, people came home and all these yeah. guys were coming right. back from people war came home and, yeah. you know marrying and right. starting families right so can i ask a question so that's how Essex, Middle River, Dundalk, all got started. It was after the war, after World War II. Well, during the war, too. During the war, because the women used to work in Sparrows Point. Wasn't they building weapons and stuff Rose, like that? Rosie the Riveter. R right. There you go. I couldn't right. remember it. Right. Okay. So, 
uh, I, what you said is back then they just did a lot of housing, but you saying that they're not keeping up with the infrastructure. Well, well, what I'm saying yeah, is let, let, let in, the, in the county, because, you know, a lot of these neighborhoods were built either pre-war or but after the war, you right. know, late rush, 40s, right. or, you know, fit all through the 50s. Right, right. They were just building houses like crazy. Right. Um, and so what I'm saying is the county has neighborhoods that are as old as some of the top of the city where we're dealing with you know pipes that are right. in infrastructure the that are 60 yeah. 70 years yeah. old infrastructure um, yeah. infrastructure issues older schools that were built right. for three four hundred kids and they have 550 kids in them right. you know with trailers and a cafeteria that was built to you know house 40 kids at a time and right. now you have 500 kids in that school trying to eat right um and it takes, you know, every, everything's more complicated. Right. But w one of the things that we see is, like I said, the poverty at the education system starting right. to falter in the county as well. Right. And then Envir the yep. part of the environmental thing is we have pipes that are collapsing where literally when it rains sometimes we'll flush several hundred thousand gallons of raw sewage into the Jones Falls watershed yeah that's i mean that's horrible because yeah, pipes yeah. are failing right right that need that's horrible i i lived in essex in middle river and, and i ain't seen the turds float by the by the poop plant i, I seen it right. and right. i smelled right. it right. i smelled i seen I, I couldn't believe that was really a turd i really looked at it. I'm like yo that's a turd yo how did a turd get in the, in the chesapeake and we drinking this water right. yeah so that's i mean that yeah that impacts your health that oh impacts my God. like you know, um, um so that's yeah those are this is this is a really good platform so you say education the environment um and and po quality of life and, and enhancing and quality of quality of life. That's correct. That those are so very and, important and, things. And what um, what a council person does? Right. Okay, that was the next question. Okay. You read my so, mind. So council is, you know, when, when we have with levels of government, we have local, state, and then federal. Right. So at the local level, that's me. that's the council person in the city. That would be the council people and the mayor. In the county, it's the county exec and the county council. Right. Are the that's the ones that be always yelling at Brandon Scott. The councils, y y yeah, a lot of times they're fighting with them. And they're always yelling at him. But that's though. all your local government. Okay. And your local government is really where the rubber hits the road, literally in the sense of it's about getting roads paved. It's about getting schools built. It's about dealing with crime. It's dealing with zoning, which might not sound like a you know, very Fair interesting, but the reality is, so let's say you live on a street where your, your house is near Bel Air Road. Okay. Are, right. Your, your row of, of houses have always been residential. Right. But someone buys one of the ladies down the street dies and her kids sell the house to some, uh, investor. Mm -hmm. And the investor comes to his 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 city councilman or county councilman, but let's say it's in the city, either, right. and they go to the council person and say, "I'd like to change the zoning on this house I bought to make it commercial because I want to build." Um, and I bought I I not only bought that house, but I bought the other three um, houses houses right next to it. Right. So I want to tear them all down even though there's houses next to those three, right. but then I want to put a little gas station in there or a mini mart. Well, if your council person changes the zoning for you, you might wake up one morning and they're tearing down the house next to you and you're like, Hey, what, what, what are you building a new house? Right. No, we're putting Getting, a, we're right. putting a seven 11 here. Right. Who, what, what? <laughs> right. Which, which changes the whole structure of the neighborhood. Right. Which and, and suddenly now you've got a whole, convenience store at, right. it, down, down the street from your house and right. people are double parking in front of your house. Exactly. And changes the whole, right. Dumping trash all over your your front steps. and Right. So um, so that's important, that's too. Important. Where you, you, right. That sounds boring. Right. No, it's but, not. But, but, but that could really affect your life if right. your council person does something with zoning that's adverse. Right. Right. You, it's crazy because that's what I was going. I wrote all everything he, he going right into it. Okay. okay, I want you to explain why every four years 
that y'all have to draw a map. For those who don't understand, every four years they have to redraw the map due to the sentence or the constitution. All right. Baltimore County actually gained seats, okay? That's why he's sitting here. Well, so can you please explain to him what that all means sure. with the, the maps and redistricting and every four years? Please educate right, us right. all. Right. So so it's actually every 10 years. So okay. All right. At every 10 years at the end of us, you know, so they do the census every 10 years. Right. So they did a census in 2020. Once that census data comes out, all jurisdictions, right. federal, state, and local, right. have to look at the, you know, wh okay, what's Results, our population right. look like? Have we lost population? Mm -hmm. Have we gained population? And they have to kind of re engineer the lines depending on the population if it grew or shrunk. Right. So, like on the, on the federal level, um, not to get too complicated here, but on the federal level, some right. states lost population. Right. Like Ohio lost population. New York. New York right. lost population. They lost congressional districts that went to like Texas or, mm -hmm. or Florida because mm -hmm. they've had population growth. Influx of population, right. In, in uh, some of these southern states. Right, 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 right. So it's the same thing at the, at the local level, at the county level. So every 10 years, they'll look at the population. Did we lose population in certain areas? So like the east side of the county, we were talking about this earlier, had a lot of the industry. Right. A lot of the people that lived in those neighborhoods worked close by right. when when some of those jobs shut, shut down, down, some of right. those families left to go work. They, you know, they might have completely moved out of the Baltimore area. Right, right. They might have moved up to Pennsylvania or moved out west, out Midwest, right. to get a job, a similar type job. So Dundalk, for instance, has lost population. It's starting to grow back again, but they lost a lot of population there. So um, conversely, they change the lines a little bit. Now, one of the other things that we're working on right now, and I think you, you there, there's two things. So th there's a zoning, um, we have something called comprehensive zoning map process, and this is kind of boring, right. so I won't okay. Oh, talk. no, it's not boring but, to me. Please but that's where we rezone props. So one of the, I was just talking about zoning. Right, the zoning, right. right. Every four years in Baltimore County, we do this process called it's called czmp comprehensive zoning map process right. so you as a homeowner that same i was talking about that guy who bought the three houses who wanted to turn it into right, right right well he might he might have come to me right as the council person and said i want to make this a 7-eleven i was like no way i'm not right. i'm not rezoning that that you know miss mabel down the street exactly. will hang me right if i turn the end of her block, a block into, a, into, a know, into a commercial entity. Right. So no, I'm not <clears> doing <throat> it. Well, he might go in at CZMP and fill out a form and say, I want to rezone these properties um, commercial. Right. Now the, the funny thing is it still comes, it back. still comes back, it still to comes back right. to me and right. I have to approve it, but it goes to our planning department first. And right. they, then people come in and testify about why they want a property up zoned or down. Why not? Right. And, but ultimately that would still come back to me. So that might, that might not have been the best example, No, I'm a, right. but, but that person may not have ever come to me to begin with, but then tries to put it in during um, the, through this rezoning the, process the rezoning that thing. happens every four and and it and he's he in he's his right he's, within he's his allowed right to, to do yeah, that within his right to do and it. if right. i wanted to change the zoning right. i could but, but that's my right. uh, that's actually the biggest authority we have as council people right. is the so zoning, zoning authority so again so that's why it's important your local you know, councilman, and that's why that's why your position is is is, is important because, right. like you said, where the rubber meets the road, where it affects you know exactly. neighborhoods, it affects people, exactly. and, and so you know you know vote, pay attention to, to things like that. Um, it's, it's important. But the redistricting that every ten years kind of gets right. moved around a little bit. So I ran. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't have a new district, but I had one that had changed a bunch. Yeah. And the the um, former councilwoman uh, councilwoman Bevins decided that she you know she was going to retire. I don't you know I don't know if it was that she didn't want to run in the new district, but she you right. know she was also tired and wanted to move on and do some other things with her with her life. Right. Um, um. 
But so I ran in that new district. But the other thing we're looking at right now, mm -hmm. and this just the initial um, discussion of it came in. We, we've just put in a resolution to study adding council districts in Baltimore County. So so let, let, let me go b back up a little mm -hmm, bit here. Mm -hmm, right. So Baltimore County, the, the current Baltimore County government was actually formed back in 1955, which, were, you know, in the scheme of things, wasn't that long. That's not ago, great, right? right. But since 1955, um, when they first st set up the current government, they they said we're going to have a county exec and we're going to have a seven person county council in 1955 they did right. wow right. the population of baltimore county in 1955 was about 350,000 people yeah. now it's 850,000 plus right so we've grown by 500,000 people a half a million people since 1955. Right. Wow. But yet, That's a lot. You still had the. We still, still have had seven, the, councilmen. seven councilmen. Right. Now, conversely, and not not to crap on Baltimore City at all, mm -hmm. but Baltimore City had 18 council people back in. I think when they changed it, it was in the early 90s or mid 90s. They went to 14 council people. Right. But Baltimore City. When they had 18 council people originally, were it was about 700,000 people that lived in the city, or something like that. 750,000, it could have been. Right. Um, the city has shrunk down below um, 600,000 people now. Actually, Baltimore City has now dropped to number five as the 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 largest largest city. Right. So city. it's it's right. Montgomery <laughs> County is the biggest. Prince George's is second. Baltimore County and, and P Prince George's are very close in size. Neck they're neck, almost right. neck and neck. <laughs> and then Anne Arundel County is actually bigger than the city now. It has mm. it has over 500,000 people. I know. Uh, yeah. or, um, over 600,000 in right. Anne Arundel now. And the city is, is about 590. So they've dropped below for right. the first time. And the city always used to be top three. You know, yeah, which right, right, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. was usually Montgomery, <laughs> Prince George's, and, and then Baltimore, and Baltimore, Baltimore City. City. Before right. Prince George's really gained population, right. it was Montgomery and Baltimore and, Baltimore. and Baltimore City. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but the county's grown tremendously since the 50s, but yet we still have seven have, counties. still have people. seven, right. And in, <clears throat> what is that, seven, almost uh, 80 years, mm -hmm. right, in... 30, well, 50, 35 in, tw in 2025. That's 58. Right. Yeah, 70, 80 ish, right? Yeah. Right. So, 70 ish. So, in all that time, we haven't even broached like, the subject of we have seven council people, the population has grown tremendously. Right. Our right. needs <laughs> have our needs have become greater because we have more poverty. We have schools that are struggling. We have infrastructure issues that right. we have to address. Right. We have communities sometimes that are getting older and we've got to work with them to try to get the new people to engage and be part right. of right. the community and do things. Outreach. Yeah. All yeah. that stuff. So we've, we've, we've had all these, you know, things that we Changes, need, but yet right. we're still with seven. Seven, right. So we're looking, we put a study group finally together that is going to look at, first of all, the language for addressing population growth, because one of the problems with the charter back in 1955 in Baltimore County was they just said there will be seven council people. Right. And it well, just, they, yeah. no one ever thought, right. unlike... When you look at the Constitution, right, 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 they were right. very detailed about right. how they wanted things to, right. you know, uh, progress. Right. In Baltimore County, we just said there'll be seven. Right. Well, what are you going to do when the population when grows? Well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they'll deal with that when it comes. There was no nothing in the charter to say right. if you, not so much if you grow to this number, you need but the to ratio. Add. Exactly. But there the should ratio. have been some ratio right. that right. They, right. So they never came up with a ratio. Right. So we're going to look at should we should we change that language to make it a ratio? But right. in all likelihood, we're either going to add two council add people council. Okay. or four council people. Right. There's some groups that want to add four. There's other people that are happier with two right. um but either way we need to grow <coughs> right the council yeah. districts are much too yeah big. things things change um let me before we um so we usually go um 
time wise, we usually um, um, yeah, we do an hour. But no, we're we're good. So we'll we'll just get um, um, tech support to let us know. Give us a blink or so when we're when we're about five or ten minutes out. Um, so just you know, tech. Yep, tech, tech, we love the information. We don't want to stop because it's beautiful. Um, keep going. And tech okay. supporter, let us know when we're like five or ten minutes out. Yeah, okay. just, just give us a blink okay. and we'll know. Cool. We'll so, know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But we're loving it. We're going to keep going. Uh, we can go all night. <clears throat> Great. All right, we'll, we'll go. All right. All right, go ahead. Get your questions. So right. that's why Harford County and Baltimore County shares a center. Hart, so... Harford County and Baltimore County shares a, a, a senator. A senator. Yeah. But and, you and, just and so say, does the city and the and Baltimore City and Baltimore County share a senator too. We have uh, Mary Mary Washington, who's um, one of my my colleagues. And Pat Donald is he still the senator? Um, he's not in the legislature anymore. I don't. Oh, Pat uh, McDonough. Yeah. Um, but is it? Uh, I forget who it is. I, who, I think it's J.B. Jennings is oh. Hartford County. And Chris West, the senator up in the Timonium area, is actually part of his district. A little, just a tiny bit is in Carroll County. Right. So um, the, the state's a little different in the state looks at, um, you know, everybody does a little bit. For, at the yeah. council level, we have council people. Mm -hmm. And we deal with literally everything from, like I said, I always say from dog poop to economic development right. to potholes to a neighbor dispute. You know, not that we're coming out and, but sometimes we do right. go yeah, talk yeah, to neighbors yeah, right. and like For the rubber meets the road. Can like you we, said, can we try to resolve this? Because nobody wants to live like this. No one wants to, right. Um, right. or at least we facilitate it with the police or a mediation service or something like that, where right. we try to help people. Hey guys, you gotta live together. We're just trying to like. Right. Can right. we just get along? Can we right. get along? Right. Right. Exactly. All right. So we get, we're getting the signal. So, Sorry to cut you. Off. We're oh. getting the signal. This is beautiful. We're loving it. Um, let's get. We definitely got to get you back. But let's give all your information out. Like, let's, let's, where can we reach you? I need the last question. Yeah, we got time. We got about five minutes. But yeah. just kind of, you know what I mean? We want to know where they can reach you. Right. We want to know, okay. you know, like Great. if somebody needs help. If so, we, so um, phone numbers and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So my, again, my name is Mike Cartel. I don't know if I even said that when we started. His name is. Just like launch right in it. Yeah, no, no, that's how we yeah, do it. So, but we've been we've been plugging you all week. So so Mike Ertel, it's Mike. it's spelled E R T E L. Okay. Often people call me Ertel. <laughs> it's Ertel. Ertel the Ertel the Turtle right. is what they call me in, <laughs> in, uh, in school. Right. You know? Um so um and my our phone number was so I'm the county council person from liter from Charles Street uh on the west. So I have Towson, Parkville, Overly, Rosedale, a little bit of Middle River. Lock Raven. Uh, Lock Raven, Village, Village right. Hillendale. Hillendale. Not a little bit of Nottingham. So Rosedale. I have Rosedale. Okay. Um, Rossville, I call it, which is up by Franklin Square and CCBC. So I have all those areas. Okay. That's the 6th District. Right. Um, my phone number, if you need us, is 410-887-3388. And you can email us. At, it's just council, C-O-U-N-C-I-L council six at baltimore county md Mar so from md for maryland.gov right we'll put all that up in the chat um no i need him to say his email again because yep. that lady can't answer all them phone calls <laughs> 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 right. Please so, say your email one more time for so us. So it's please. it's uh, council six. Council six. No no dot in between. So no just dot. Just council six at Baltimore. At Baltimore County. County. MD for Maryland. MD for Maryland. Dot gov. Dot gov. G O V. G O V. Yeah. Yep. Okay, y'all gonna have to rewind on that one. And we say we'll we'll chat it, we'll put it up there. We'll um, we gonna get it. Up. I'm gonna put it up there. Um, and and if we if y'all got questions, you know, people out there, you got questions or anything, you know, post yeah, it out send there. Them, send, send it to send, send it to me. me. I'll ask them. Y'all know I will ask them. Okay. <laughs> That's Miss Lisa's new best friend. That's so get, yet, she's yet. got the hookup. We'll get. <laughs> we'll get well, but, no, he's a man. He, no, he's awesome. serious. He's serious. Awesome. He's serious about the awesome. hood. Oh, he, he's really. I, I told y'all, y'all didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. 
that you was the kind oh, man. You, right. you you're the best. I just thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's for taking the time. Yeah. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, it's all. We gotta come back. I mean, we're we're gonna be here all the time. like being on Howard Stern. Yo, that's a compliment. I kind of feel like that because you know everybody. Yeah, the radio. We got it. It's casual. Yeah, that's what we do. We're family. We like to say we're family here. But we at the end of the show now. Yeah, we we're getting we're getting close. He's not getting away because I'm going to ask the question. Nah, Shut this, up, this is where Howard Stern comes okay. in now. I mean, <laughs> Shut up, Dennis. He's on the camera. Dennis is working the camera, Eddie. Okay. Our, our engineer is not feeling good. He really let me go. He, I, ain't, I ain't have no lipstick on my teeth. I am so proud of you, Dennis. <laughs> um, this is the last question. Y'all already know. Okay. okay. Ready for this question? I'm ready. You ready for it? <laughs> Do you believe in UFOs? Do I believe in UFOs? I, th I think I have to now because... <laughs> that was it. That was it. Did you hear what no. the military said? Yeah, so, I heard <laughs> Tell them. You got to think there's other lights. No, no. Go ahead, tell them. Tell them, please. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. All right, right go ahead. Go. You going to shut up so you can talk? All right, all right, there you go. Well, well, go well, ahead, well, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Well, go ahead, Mike. All right. I believe in him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shut that's the cameras off. We're the done. Shut line. the cameras that's off. The We're done. Right. We're done. Right. Right. Give us a signal. Shut it off. We're Man. done. But, but you know, oh um, thanks, God. guys, for tuning in. Like, sh uh, share, subscribe. This is kind of what we do. We bring, um, you know, knowledge, education. We're all family here. Really appreciate you, Mike, for coming for coming down. Um, come again. Come, come again. Your, your talent will make room for you. It's what we say here all the time. And I forgot um, to say, what's up, Baltimore? Y'all already what's know. Y'all just saw how I gave it up. Now, <laughs> y'all want some information, please. Now, y'all got to be nice to me. <laughs> y'all gotta be nice to me, okay? Y'all gotta wash my car and all that stuff. Anything <laughs> I think of, okay? All right. Or just email Mike. I mean, just but, you know no, I mean? come on, cut man. out the middleman. Just email Mike. Need this is call beautiful. Yeah, call call email. Definitely. This is, this is beautiful, awesome. and I am just so thankful that you took really the time. Really appreciate it. Really Absolutely. Appreciate it. I, I was glad to come, and it's fun, and if you want me I'm back, glad. We'll Did you appreciate 100%. I dressed up for you? I really I, I wanted did. to I, like, I guess I should have I, I want to look like trash. a CNN reporter. <laughs> yeah, you do a good job. I did a yes, job. You do I'll be like fishing that. for compliments, too. <laughs> so on that note, we're out. It's a wrap. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Right. That's how we do a show. Good night. See you next week. Good night. Are the lights still on, Dennis. Why are the lights still on? <laughs> All right. It's a cold, cold world, a cold one. It's a cold, cold world. Yeah. It's a cold, cold world, a cold one. It's a cold, cold world. I've been looking to the stars like I'm a national and this pain hurts so much, so I